The Swedish University of Agricultural Sciences and Örebro University have conducted a groundbreaking research project into cultivated fish, using their specialities in environmentally friendly animal production and gastronomy. Spearheading the project is Professor Anders Kiesling, a leading figure in the field of aquaculture. Cultivated gives us options to produce a completed new product line, adding to the wild line. Aquaculture offers the possibility to relieve the pressure of overfishing in the wild and to tailor a product to the palate of a chef. In order to do so, we need to produce a fish that is both environmentally friendly and be of the highest quality. Fish is something that we really like to work with, especially in the Nordic regions where we have great fish with the cold climates and the cold waters. Of course, we want to use fish that's sustainable. The uniqueness of this project is the combination of the latest analytic technology and sensory evaluation. This will help us understand what factors during production affects the gastronomic appreciation of the product as food, i.e. the terroir of the fish, or as we now say, menoir. In this initial project, the researchers want to create a basic knowledge of how storage time and riga affect the sensory qualities, and if taste difference can be measured by the changes in the metabolites within the flesh. Today we are in Stockholm in Sweden and Ulliksdals Vadshus. So we're doing our sensory testing for the fish here today. You need the train panels for the assessments, and we always use the students. So today we're testing char. We both cook them in a water bath as well as uh, serve them raw. And when we cook a product that hasn't gone through rigor, it will behave in one way. When we taste it raw, it will be a very different thing. Today we have Sebastian Gibrand and of course we have other chefs working for this restaurant and taking part in this uh, sensory testing as well. It was super interesting to see how the fish really behaved after a few hours and it was a big difference. The fish has been stored for 72 hours, 24 hours and 5 hours on ice before we took out the samples. The fish was first of all filleted by the chefs. They took out uh, the fillets from one side for evaluation of the taste and the other side of the fish was cut in smaller pieces and given to us. So we could the samples them down and lick the knife again. Yesterday, Cut it in small pieces with an extraction with chloroform and methanol. To destroy the cells, we also treat it with ultrasound, centrifugation to separate the water phases and then the chloroform. We need to cut off the proteins so, so we can run the NMR. We extract the, the compounds that are existing in the fish muscles and then we measure them using different analytical methods. And then we try to see if there is correlation between the size of these signals coming from different metabolites and the sensory quality judged by a chef. We can see totally different metabolites are dominating in both raw and cooked. The scientists are now looking into which groups of substances those are representing. We can see in this graph a distinct difference between storage times. Sweeter tastes dominate the start of the process, and with storage develops more free amino acids, bitter flavours and umami, with the taste fading out over time. We're still in the initial stages of this work, but it will open up a whole new world. The results from the chefs is in line with the results from the train panel. They didn't like the, the five hours fish either. Both the chefs and the panel agreed that the fish stored 72 hours on ice had developed a deeper taste of umami, sharing a similar reaction on taste as when meat is stored. Basically what our results are indicating here in this project is saying that the fish are actually benefiting on being stored on ice for hours or even days in order to extract the unique flavour to create the perfect meal. Maybe it's not just the freshest that's the best. In certain products or certain dishes, Super fresh is the perfect, with other dishes you may want to wait some time. It's super important to make science of what we are feeling when we're eating. This kind of a link is important because I think 
uh, big companies and chefs and, and everyone who's working with these kind of products and working with the end consumers and the guests. They need to understand the science part behind that. So you think Sweden has the potential of aquaculture farming? Sweden is very well placed to actually get circular production of food through aquaculture. This kind of interaction between the farmer and the good chef is happening now because aquaculture has opened that possibility. In this initial project we explored how storage time after slaughter affects the biochemical profile of the fillet, how the changes relate to the sensory panel evaluation and the chef's gastronomic judgement. This study can now be used in our following project focusing on taste and environment where the next generation feed for farmed fish is one major factor.